Hello. So we're in London now. We're going to Covent Garden food. Yeah, we're going to a pizza place. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop speaking this accent. Speak my own voice. Yeah, Chan. Let's try and speak normal. We're going to a <laughs> restaurant called what was it called? Fire and Stone. Oh, we're just walking to the tube now. And then we're going to Covent Garden for tea. And then maybe some dessert. Definitely dessert. And then when we get back, I will show the beautiful apartment that we've got. We are actually doing that, that voice there. I know. <laughs> we've got all oh, video that way. Can you turn it in that? Video what? That building, it just looks really special. So we're just walking past a special <laughs> this huge building with really nice lights. Um, on my eyes, I have expensive pink by Mac and cranberry by Mac. Okay, so we're going straight. Um, I think so, yeah. And then on my lips, I have Mac Soa, which is Izzy's. <laughs> and um, oh, that's really nice in that. So yeah. I will video again when we're at Covent Garden. M&M world now because Izzy's never been and it's actually crazy how many M&M things you can actually get. There's a doggy. Let's give it some m and It's Max. <laughs> oh yeah, I watched that, you know. Oh, did you? It's rubbish. <laughs> oh, it was on DVD at work and I thought, shall I get it, Mom? <laughs> no, it's rubbish. It's honestly rubbish. How did so, you watch it? Um, me and Thingy watched it, me and Anthony. So we're at the IMAX cinema. Oh, Ooh, there's some jazzy dancers, I might film them. Yes, people, showtime in one minute. We're just warming up, getting things ready. Getting seats ready, getting tickets ready. Showtime in one minute. This is Izzy's new boyfriend. Go and stand with him. Oh, we actually tap on that. Yeah. One minute. So we're at Piccadilly Circus now. It's a big screen. <laughs> That's how tall I like. She just got a picture with her boyfriend. So we've somehow ended up in Piccadilly Circus, and so now we're gonna head back to Covent Garden, find our restaurant, and then get some pizza. What? What did that man just say? Something girls. <laughs> He's following us. <laughs> um. Yeah. If you put Covent Garden at the end, it should come up. So this place that we're going to, it's got like different pizzas. So in my country, 
as pizza places do. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's like all city themes, so there's like Chicago, New York, and just loads of different ones. So I, should, I think it's pretty obvious that we're excited for our pizzas. But then the big decision is where do we go for dessert? And I wish there was something you could do or say To try and make me change my mind and stay But we never did too much talking anyway But don't think twice, it's all right So long, honey, baby if you liked that um, singer, they were called Facey, oh Facey Corolla. Oh my god, run! <laughs> I really love that harmonica. They were called Facey Corolla. I found that you could probably find them on YouTube, but I'll probably search them when I get home because he was really cute with yeah, curly he hair. Was. We finally found Fire and Stone. Definitely wouldn't have been able to find it with Google without Google Maps. These are our pizzas. This one is Mexico City and it's got guacamole, raw potatoes, cheese, onions, and I think like spicy chicken. And then this one is Peking duck and it's got duck, obviously. And then is that shredded cucumber? Yeah, let's go. They literally smell amazing and they're really thin and crispy. I'm excited for my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> this is Izzy's crepe and she got chocolate ice cream, Nutella, all the other ice cream, and caramel. And then I've got a caramel and vanilla flour ice cream. They are delicious. And they're from Amorino in Cover Garden. Okay, so we're back. We're back in Kai Park area because that's where our apartment is. We just got the tube back. Hey, look, there's a corn on the cob there. <laughs> um, it's quite freezing in London tonight. So when we get back to the apartment, I'm gonna vlog it. Even though it's like night time now, it's about eight o'clock. I'll put my flash on and then I can show the really nice apartment. We're pleasant, pleasantly surprised, aren't we, with it? Yeah. Um, our desserts were delicious. I think it was gelato because it was really, really creamy. And I think there's someone behind me. <laughs> Hello. Anything to add? I loved the gelato. Yeah, she got um, a pancake, like a crepe. It's a really thin pancake. So, I'll speak soon when I'm vlogging the outside of our beautiful apartment and then the inside. So this is the outside of our apartment. Very pretty. Got a little archway like that. And this is the door. And then you come inside. Oh, shit. Six and Izzy's going to kindly turn the lights on. So you come in and you just get like a little hallway room with a mirror, and then you've got a settee, a bed, a kitchen. Is that a microwave? Yeah, so you get a microwave, kettle, hob, so you can make super noodles, you get a table. And then you get these big windows, TV, also you get free Wi-Fi as I said before. And then I think you get like extra storage under the bed. So it's actually really good if you wanted to come here and stay for a few days. And I think. the little drawers there. So you get little drawers. You also get two wardrobes. So it's absolutely loads of storage space. And then there's a teeny tiny cupboard that you can fly up to in the middle of the night. You never noticed that, I've always noticed that now. Then this is the bathroom. Toilet, shower, sink. It's all really nice. 
and that is our apartment so now we're back and we're gonna chill out listen to some tunes on my Bose speaker and probably watch Big Brother because we have our telly and then in the morning we're going to Brighton what a mess I look like I've got a moustache <laughs> say goodbye goodbye see you tomorrow for London Brighton adventure I need to stop talking this voice London Brighton adventure <laughs> It's day two of Brighton and London, and I'm still talking like this. <laughs> so we've got to go to London, Victoria, and then get the train to Brighton. And then we have to find a hotel in Brighton and then check in. So I'll be able to show the room again. But yeah, we have to say goodbye to our lovely apartment. Goodbye! Goodbye! Hello, I'm back. So we're on the train now. Sun is shining, we're excited to get to the beach. Oh, we're not obviously going to go on the beach or anything like that. We're going to walk on it, throw some pebbles. I don't know what we're going to do when we get there. We're thinking of going to Chucky Lucky Luda and getting a hot chocolate and then probably just exploring the lane and things like that. So, yeah, we just had a burger, some Burger King. I got um, a double cheeseburger with bacon. It's good, we're not as good as five guys. And Izzy got a chicken royale. Did, with, with cheese and mayo and lettuce. We both had a taste of each of us. So that was nice. <laughs> it's nice to share. <laughs> um, I don't know to say. There's a man on the train that keeps going out. And, uh, and yeah, we're excited to get to Brighton and just explore. And I feel like it's going to feel a lot different to London. It's going to be quite good to nice black hole in it and uh, a posh black hole. <laughs> now and we're in our hotel room so I'm just gonna show you the room from the outside so you walk in and it's like this and you get all these wardrobes which is quite a lot of wardrobe space then you walk in there's two single beds we did want double but I accidentally booked singles which is annoying I've got a table all set with custard creams water and some Nescafe got a TV, a mirror, and then we have this big window which has a lovely view of the Aqua Dolce restaurant. So yeah, and these are the beds. And then this is the bathroom. The bathroom's actually really nice. Hello, it's me. We've got a nice big bath. Toilet sink. So yeah, that's our Brighton room. We're going to Chucky Wucky Doodah now. Just heading over. I feel like we've gone too far. <laughs> we've walked, <laughs> we've walked, walked past the um, thingy. We're in the lift. This is my hair. We're really excited for Chucky Wucky Doodah. We just put it on Google Maps and it said, what did it say? Chucky... Chucky Wookie Doodah. Something no, she said. Not... Where should we go? Okay. It's such a nice sunny day. Off to Chucky Wookie Doodah. This is the outside of Chucky Wookie Doodah. These are like cakes then, aren't they? I know.
milkshake than Toki Waki Doo Doo. Yours looks a bit chocolate. Mmm. Oh my god. Hello, Mr. Seagull. So we're just at the beach now. The sun's obviously gone. What time is it? About, four, about half. Is it four? Yeah, it's four o'clock now. It's lots of, oh, that signal looks really scary. So we're gonna head over to the pier now and see what the pier has to offer. The sea looks really nice and just relaxing. Ooh! <laughs> Jim is Italian now <laughs> and we've just ordered our food and our starter's just come so I'll show you what it is. We've just had a bit of cork as well. So yeah, I'll just show you the what it's like a garlic bread with rosemary and stuff. I think that could be like onions yeah. or garlic cloves and then it's like sprinkled with parmesan. It literally looks like a roast chicken from a distance. Really big. So Let's eat, mother. Um, I can't swear. Mmm. That's so garlicky. Eh? Oh yeah. It's so soft. You know when you normally get a garlic bread and it's rock hard. We're back at our hotel now. I just wanted to um explain a funny story <laughs> we um see what the lighting's like in here i'm just running a bath i've just put way way too much water in so i haven't emptied it and i've just wiped off all my lipstick so i've got like a white mark around my mouth but basically we went to um look at my mouth to um a photo booth do you remember what the shop was called I've literally no idea no idea what the shop was called, but upstairs they had a photo booth and you could use like all the accessories and things to take funny pictures. So so basically you literally put your coins in and then before you know it, it's taking the pictures. So the, the first one is literally disgusting because we didn't know it was gonna take a picture. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> it's horrendous of us both. Like literally look at me in that top hat. So we had to have it, we obviously had to keep it. But then we like quickly was like, right shit, you know, we need to get good pictures. So that was the rest of them. Aren't as bad as that. And then we did another set of them. So that one's Izzy's and then this one's mine, the one with the ugly picture on. I think I'm gonna cut them up though, like Polaroids, because those two at the bottom will be like a Polaroid size. I like that one. But yeah, it was so funny. But yeah, James was really nice and then we just went to the breakfast club for a brownie. We shared a brownie, that was really, really good. I took a picture of it but I didn't vlog it. Um, and what else do I want to tell you? Tomorrow we're thinking going shopping. We're going to Bill's in the morning for breakfast, so that'll be good. I've never actually been out for tea. I've never been out for breakfast before, so I'm really excited for that. Tonight we're just gonna, I'm just gonna have a bath, chill out, watch TV, listen to some music. And yeah, and that's it for now. So we're having such a good time though. Like it's so nice to just be away from where we live in the Northwest. Sorry, it's burnt. <laughs> like the Northwest, it's so boring. Like we were just saying how much there is to do here and there's literally nothing. I can go to the cinema and you can go to McDonald's, but that's it. That's about as exciting as things get over there. But like here, there's a breakfast club that's actually open to all levels. How fun! So yeah, so I will probably vlog again in the morning when we're going to be off to bills. So yeah, bye. Oh, I also got to say, um, the only purchase I made today was a birthday present for my dad. I'll actually say what that is because I don't think he'll watch this, and if he does, I'll tell him to watch it after his birthday. But it's like. Um, a hanging tea light holder it's like really big and black and it hangs like a tea light in and it looks like candles and things like that and all this stuff so I think I really like that 
and then I got pictures and then I also got an Oliver bonus. I keep calling it Oliver Bow now. <laughs> Oliver bonus um, little hanging frame to stick polarizing. And um, I'll show it tomorrow when I get a chance to show it you. Yeah. Just got a little mini one. So yeah, I think that's all I've bought so far, which is a bit disappointing. I want to buy some makeup. Don't know what though. So yeah, I'm gonna go now and have my bath. Bye. We've arrived at Bill's for breakfast. Looks like a warehouse. So Good morning, I'm, we're in Bill's now and we're going to get hot chocolates and then the food I'm going to get is the smoked streaky bacon in a toasted brioche roll with fried egg and then I think I'm going to get a crispy potato as well because they sound intriguing. What are you getting? I'm going to get eggs benedict I think. What even is that? It's like poached eggs. With What's hollandaise? Ham, Parma ham I think. It's like a yellowish creamy sauce. And what's a poached egg one where it's like a bowl and it, you pork it and it <laughs> seeps out? It's like a, the soft one. Yeah. So yeah, we're very excited. Got a window above us. And then all the different jams and things that you can buy. This is my hot chocolate. And this is Izzy's. Exactly the same. <laughs> and this is my food. It's a lovely brioche bun, fried egg, bacon, crispy potato. And then this is Izzy's egg benedict. That looks like my idea of hell. <laughs> <laughs> that literally looks like ice cream. It's really good. You like eggs though, don't you? I like fried egg. Hi. It's a little bit later on now and um, my voice is going weirdly. <laughs> but after Bill's, after Bills, we went shopping a little bit. We went around the North Lane or the South Lane, the one that's all vintage. And I got a few things, so I'll just explain what I got. We went to this vintage shop called Flock. It's vintage and handmade things. And I just got this green, kind of green blue jumper with like this heart kind of detail on the front. And it's £10 and it's really soft and stretchy. And I like vintage things because it's like nobody else has it. Um, and then we went in Mac and I got somebody, a, a certain somebody, a birthday present. And then I also got myself, well, part of a birthday present. I also got myself a little mini pigment because <clears throat> they do mini pigments, which I think is really good. So it's like half, probably a little bit less than half the size that you would normally get. But it's like half the price because you never use a full pigment, especially when they're so colourful. Like you you just don't really go out wearing pink and gold eyeshadow every day. So you never really get through it. So I got that. And then I also went to a sweet shop and I got my mum some sweets and my brother some sweets to take home because they love sweets. And then I also got a denim skirt from Topshop. It's just like a little... Like, what what shape would you call that? We call it airline. So yeah, we were really tired after shopping, so we came back to the hotel and then just chilled for a little bit, and then now we're gonna go for some tea. We've got a table at Wagamama's, so we're excited about that. And then I don't know what we're doing after tea. Probably gonna chill some more, cause we're lazy. So I'll probably I'll vlog again in Wagamama's to show what we got because we're gonna get food. <laughs> so goodbye. Yeah. We're at Wagamama's and these are gyozas and this is the chicken one. It's like steamed chicken, basically. This is Izzy's katsu curry. Ooh. 
This is my duck ramen with chilies and coriander. It's our last day in Brighton and we're leaving now. We're leaving the hotel. We're all packed up and ready to go. So we just need to say bye to all the furniture and then we're going. We're going to go up to the train station, get our tickets for the train and then have a little wander around. And then we've got the train at one, getting to London at two. And then we're going to go around London for a little bit and then go home. So it's so sad that it's over. Hi, so it's the day after now and I realised that I didn't end my vlog. <coughs> so I'm a, you know, I'm a first time vlogger so I suppose that's standard really to forget to end it. But basically after we checked out of Brighton, we got the train to London and then we tried to get um, an o Ole, an early coach back but they were trying to charge us loads so we just thought right well we'll wait and then go around London a little bit and then get the coach home so we went to Oxford Circus which is like the big main street and we went shopping along there I got a few things there I got a little um case for my Bose speaker just because I don't want to ever drop it and break it and then I got a top from H&M which I'm Actually wearing right now it's literally the most boring top you could ever imagine just a long sleeve black top um, then we got five guys and because we love five guys and then we got the coach home and it was probably one of the worst worst journeys I've ever done it it was just really really dragged it was like five o'clock and when you when you know you're going home you just want to get home so it was just really bad so it was just dragging um, and then we got into Manchester about 11 and then we got the bus home and then I got home about 12 so it was a long day but we finally made it home um so yeah so I just wanted to end the vlog here and I hope that you all liked my first vlog it was it was a lot harder than I thought it was going to be like you don't actually anticipate what it's like like when you actually try to do it and you're making your footage and you just think is that even going to be interesting but it's like I don't know it's hard to explain but we'll see what it looks like when I edit it all and see how it goes but yeah so I hope that you all liked it I hope you all found it interesting um I'm trying to think what else I need to say but I think that's the end so um if I do ever go anywhere interesting again I might vlog depends who I'm with whether they want me to vlog whether they'd mind me vlogging, should I say? But I did really enjoy vlogging, like, and I think it is such a good way to kind of remember things. So it would be nice in a few years' time to watch this vlog back when I've edited it into like a big video and just look back on the trip and remember things that you probably would have forgot if you didn't video it. So yeah, that's the end of the vlog. So give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. I'm gonna try and do some more beauty videos soon, um, but I'm quite busy at the minute with work and things, so.